So a lot of the time I get asked, Brock, how can I get faster at running? And the truth is there's tons of things you can do, but my most common response is to run your long runs harder and run your easy days easier. And if you do both of these things, you're gonna become a much better distance runner in the long term and a much faster and a much stronger runner. And it's something that I like to incorporate into all of my training each and every week. So without further ado, let's get into this video. We got a huge 20 mile long run today and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Hey, Ethan, you think you can help me from a 20 mile run? For sure, dog. Let's go run 20 miles. Hi, guys. So we're out here today doing a long run. I'm gonna try to do one of my longest runs of the summer. Today we're going for a 20 miler, which is something I haven't done in probably like four years, something like that. Last time I did one was senior year in high school, right when COVID hit. And I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go out the door and go run 20. But now I'm actually doing it in an actual training like block. And so it's really, uh, it's really gonna be a challenge. It's around 85 degrees out here right now. So it's kind of gonna be a toasty one. Ethan, the guy was filming, he's a legend. He's gonna be driving alongside me, bringing me some water and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna try to get after this thing. We're gonna go with the Honey Zero SLs today. And then maybe swap, swap into the New Balance 1080s. Looks like these guys are about to run. There they go. Brock's heading over to ask some random dudes if he wants to join him for the long run. You guys going long? Yeah, yeah 10 miles. How, how fast? Um, what about joining these guys? Really? I got a cameraman, is that cool? Yeah. yeah cool. Um, we're thinking probably around 6.30. Okay. But that'd be perfect. We can go down to 6 flat. Yeah, I'm doing 20 today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. And I was like, well, if I had somebody to run with, that'd be dope. Yeah. Um, you guys Good about timing. to go? Yeah, yeah, we're literally just perfect. about to go. Okay, so. sweet. Ethan's going to drive alongside. This is Ethan Gregg, if you don't know him. Sweet. He's an absolute legend. What's up? Fastest yeah. man in D3. Fast. Okay. He's <laughs> yeah. like 1340 yeah. or something in the 5K. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's pretty nuts. Made it to five. That's like a quarter of the way through the run. Six thirty-five pace yes. right now. Yeah, the last one was four forty. So yeah, so I think we're good. so we're, we're trying to cut down now. Yeah, trying to like threshold effort. Different dimensions. That is it. How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. Heck yeah! It's always good to like get out and watch the sunset in Colorado. You just go crazy. We're at 8.78. Feeling pretty good. Um, watch that's running probably about 6.15 pace. We've been running downhill, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. But feeling good. All right, man. It was a pleasure, dude. Pleasure to run. Yeah. Good luck this season. You're gonna make it in the video. Hey yo. You got anything to say? Uh. Plug anything. Run. Run. I like it. So we're at 10 miles into this thing. Feeling pretty good. Um, not hurting too bad yet. Right. So, yeah, so it's just like that one loop. I can do that loop again. <laughs> that would be right at 20. Up to you. Let's do it. Jakob's 327. What? What'd you think of Jakob's 327? Pretty fast. <laughs> Wow. 
we're at 13 and a half. It's definitely getting harder. We're stepping out here for like an hour and a half, but not too bad. Definitely think I can do six and a half more. That last split. 618. We're doing all right. So we're at we're at 15. I don't feel too bad. But I need to switch shoes. Get a little different uh, tension points on the feet. Been out here hour and 36. That was nice. 20 miles, 617 pace, last mile 527. I was like, ah, oh, well, I guess I'm feeling all right. <laughs> Weather was really nice, cooled off throughout the run. I love evening runs. Uh, call me Charles Hicks, out here running at night. Feels good. One of the biggest takeaways in this long run was to be present in the exact moment that I was in for the, throughout the whole run. So instead of thinking, oh shoot, I have to tackle this 20 mile monster, I was thinking, okay, I only have to tackle a mile. So if I was in mile 10, I was like, oh, well, I just gotta make it to mile 11, you know? Just be here, make it from 10 to 11. Okay, well, I'm focusing on this exact moment. How bad is it hurt right here? Probably not too bad. And then I made it to mile 11 and I was like, okay, let's just be right here. Let's make the mile 12. Let's focus on the distance between mile 11 and mile 12. And focusing on those exact moments within that range, it allowed me to just keep moving and keep pushing forward where I was able to do 20 miles at 617 pace. And I was just like, oh, okay. It actually wasn't super hard. Like I finished it up and I was like, oh, well, that's what it was. That was it. Because I wasn't getting too far ahead of myself. I pretty much just didn't allow myself to get freaked out by the overall amount that I was doing. It was like, oh no, we're, like, we're just running a mile. Oh yeah, we're, we're just doing another one, and another one. And then next thing I knew, I was at mile like 15 or 16 and I had four miles to go and I'm like, oh, well, four miles, what is that, an easy run maybe? Like a double? I can do four miles, Doesn't it's not gonna hurt me at all. Having that mentality throughout the whole summer has allowed me to build up such a strong base and become such a better runner. I think it's gonna help me so much in the season. It's gonna be something that I carry into all my races. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace. Oh my gosh, my legs aren't working right now. Dude, some pizza, some Zaza hard working cameraman. Look at that, man. Driver. Thank you, bro. <laughs> and then I'm just uh, about to eat some of this stuff. This is gonna help me to live. <laughs>